Welcome to the Houston Methodist Open Chest Simulation video. At the completion of this video, you will have learned proper sterile technique, how to prepare a sterile field, and how to assist in an emergency open chest at the bedside. Once the surgeon has identified the need for an emergency sternotomy procedure, obtain the open chest cart and crash cart, notify the OR staff, and alert the cardiovascular surgery team for your hospital protocol. Ensure blood product is available from the blood bank and obtain the electrocautery device from the OR. We will begin by demonstrating how to put on a sterile gown and glove located in your emergency open chest cart. First, a non-sterile team member will open the sterile gown and gloves and place them on the table. The sterile team member will open the gown and slide their arms through the holes, keeping their hands inside the cuffs. They will then put on the sterile gloves. The non-sterile team member will tie the back of the gown. Grab the tag on the front of the gown and hand it to the non-sterile team member. Spin around while they hold the tag. Once the tag is removed, you can tie the gown. We will now prepare the sterile field. You will need the cautery grounding pad, chlorhexidine surgical prep, and the sterile drape from the emergency open chest cart. All team members in the room should wear a hat and a mask. A team member will apply the electrocautery grounding pad to the patient's thigh and plug it in. She will then apply the chlorhexidine surgical prep. Another team member will put on sterile gloves and will resume CPR if needed. A team member will hand the drape to a sterile person who will then drape it over the patient. Once the sterile field has been prepared, a team member will place sterile suction tubing, a yank hour, the internal defibrillator paddles, and bovi onto the sterile field. The sterile suction tubing should be attached to wall suction. The internal defibrillator paddles should be attached to the defibrillator and the bovi should be plugged in at this time, careful to maintain sterility. The patient is now ready for open sternotomy. Remember the patient must be adequately sedated and paralyzed for this procedure. The open chest kit, retractor, wire cutters, scalpel, wire pullers, and scissors should be ready on a separate prepared sterile field. When the surgeon enters, a sterile team member will give him the scissors or scalpel and will assist in cutting the wires. A retractor will be used to open the chest and visualize the heart. Once the heart is visualized, sterile suction will be utilized to visualize the graft sites. At this time, the surgeon may perform cardiac massage and use the internal defibrillator paddles, shocking at 20 joules. Electrocautery may be used to control any oozing or bleeding. Be prepared to fluid resuscitate and give blood products as indicated during the procedure. This may require the use of a rapid infuser. Once the patient is stabilized, he will be taken to the OR for further surgical intervention. This concludes our open chest simulation. Keep in mind that this video is for demonstration and teaching purposes alone. Please refer to your facility's specific policies and procedures. Thank you.